Hey guys, tag along with me as we go to the biggest fish swap meets in the Midwest in Northbrook, Illinois. Alright, as we move inward, um, just letting you guys know that I'm there, you know, very early morning and I get like um, early admission and uh, this admission it was like $10.00. And it's just five dollars more than the regular five dollar admission. So um, you know, I, if you're going to go there, I suggest you do the earlier route because all the fishes are still there, all the goods are still there, the plants are still there, and you get first pick. So um, I highly suggest that you choose the option to go in the earlier. It's only thirty minutes earlier, but you get what you want. And uh, if you go with the regular uh, $5 admission, then when you get there, most of the stuff, like three-fourths of the stuff will be, still be there. And um, see those plants right there, those big plants? I wanted to, to come back and get those, but once I made one round around um, the whole place and it came back, the plants was gone. So I kind of regret not taking the plants. So it's kind of like first come, first serve bases. Um, if you see something there that's nice, go ahead and grab it. <laughs> Don't be like me where you say, oh, I'll come around and get it later. Chances are, if it's a good deal, people will grab it and you will lose out on it. So don't wait too long. Don't hesitate. If you like something, just go ahead and get it. I found this booth here that had like a whole bunch of bike chairs. And, um, you know, in the past, I was very interested in the bike chair and it kind of intrigued me so I kind of stopped by and took a look at it one of these were $25 so it seems like they're pretty good quality and uh, I also took a look at the other uh, bike chair that they labeled as uh, albino and um, apparently it was only $15 but it doesn't look albino obviously the eyes is black so <laughs> I'm not sure what happened maybe they just mislabeled it or whatever but uh, yeah, after checking it out for a little bit, I decided not to, to stay too long because I might have, because they might have something that I might like or something that I might want. And, um, you know, I someone might just take it, you know. <laughs> I'm always in a rush to try to see what is out there, just like a quick glance around first before making any purchases. And I think what, some of the times I just had to make the decision right on the spot that, hey, I want this and I want to grab that. So pretty much in this video, I'm just going to show you guys what I'm seeing here through my eyes with the camera here. This fish tank right here will mark the beginning and the end of the circle that I'm going to go around here. So if you guys like something, go ahead and pause the video. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, how's it going? I charge $5 for photography. <laughs> If you see anything you like, pick it up, check it out, ask questions. All right. Are these wild caught? Yes, yes okay. they are. That's uh, the real Nene Angel. It's an angel fish out of Peru. Okay. Um, it's one of the original angels, not like the uh, domestic type. Of They're really pretty, actually. They yeah, they are. In the bag. You know, believe it or not, bagging them up isn't uh, wonderful for making the color of uh, express. But really pretty. Reds, yellows, spots. So, and I kept going around. I did eventually buy that guy over there. So I didn't want to really film me making the purchase. Um, over here is a table that had like a whole bunch of plecos these are more like the wild caught plecos and over here in this table they have a whole bunch of angel fishes and you know i was just running around and trying to see who has what i was so close to buying these bulgarian seal points but i took a good look at them i think i took longer in this table than any other table making the decision whether or not to buy these guys and these guys look nice but i like the ones that i have at home a little bit more so i decided to pass up on this one i also checked out some high coverage koi angel fish that this vendor has and they got some some decent kois but you know i decided to pass up on this one as well um, i just wanted to look to see what 
everyone has first before making the decision and if I see that you know these are really good fishes then I'll instantly make the decision but you know if these are and eh, maybe I'll come back to it probably high chances are I'm probably gonna pass up on it over here they got some more uh, piranhas I love this vendor right here how they set up it's just like a rack and this are just hanging out in there and somebody just bought one, two, three, uh, three of them just earlier. Oh, really nice fish. They were fine this morning. Yeah. These are my babies. I've had them for about a year and a half. Oh, so you breed them yourself? Yep. Okay, nice. And over here, surprisingly, I saw some goldfishes. And I, my brother-in-law had goldfishes, and I do miss them. But the one thing that I don't miss is that they, the poop that they produce is just so much waste. And uh, going on here, some more uh, small little dainty fish like autos and bristle nose. And uh, over here, I saw a stand that had angel fishes. And I'm like, dang, these guys are huge compared to the ones that I just previously saw. This is a uh, two cans tropical, by the way. I love everything that they do for the hobby. This is legit for the hobby, guys. And the prices that they're selling at, it's it's a killer, you know. <laughs> I, me personally, I cannot match what they're um, throwing out there in terms of pricing. Um, they got very good finishes on there uh, for those clowns. They got some nice koi angel fishes here. And uh, eventually, I did buy fishes from them. Um, they got some really good fishes. This one specifically is the one that I bought from them for only $10. Can you believe that? It's like a huge fish. And uh, I saw it right away, I'm like, dang, I gotta get this guy. Is this a manacaparu? Why is it so red? <laughs> it's really nice. Just the spring, we got some of them out with the red cap. And so I decided to look around to see what else they had. I kind of wish I went the other way around because if you see this bin right here, it's half done already, you know? So that means that people have been buying it and uh, those were very limited options that I had. I kind of wish I went the other way around and uh, see this vendor first before uh, reaching here at the last second before turning around the bend and starting again at the beginning where I um, first start off with. So I checked out all these guys right here and um, I was looking at that guy right there that he just grabbed. Um, that guy right there had like the prettiest looking shoulder and I don't know it's just like the I just like the color of shape. Do you know these are uh, males or females? I mean I, I guess if you put like a 125 you don't know. So usually the fish is over there if the breeder knows the fish individually then they will be able to tell you whether it's male or female but in this case um, he didn't know whether it's male or female. Alright, over here we have some more fishes. Let's see what we got here. Angelfish. <laughs> um, Koi, this is Tristan's Tropical. And uh, I did get fishes from him in the past. I got some uh, really nice, uh, I think it was Peruvian angelfishes from him. But yeah, his Koi, I've been to his place. I kind of wish I was able to film it, but at that time I wasn't doing YouTube yet. But his place is phenomenal. It's in the greenhouse. Like, I've never seen such things before in Wisconsin with this cold, cold weather. It's just crazy. Uh, over here, we got some more bettas. Damn, these are nice. This is J4. I've been eyeing their fish for such a long time here. And uh, one day, I will purchase fish from them. I just know it in my guts. And J4 is a very reputable flower horn importer. And they import all these beautiful fishes. And man, one day, when I have the tank space, I'll get these guys. And these guys will be my collimators. But for now, the two fire cichlids are my collimators, Mean and Nasty. That's their name. Um, so yeah, they're doing a good job at their job, so for now, I'm just looking around here, just checking out, showing you guys the different colorations that they have here, and the, the different types of flower horn that they have here. Some people don't really like flower horns, but I just kind of like the man-made fish, you know? <laughs> In a way, angel fishes are man-made, 
goldfishes are man-made and I kind of like that you know I did also um, talk with them and they said that they do have breeding pairs of flower horns at home and if I want then I can also schedule an appointment to go to their place and check it out and so this is J4 and uh, they have a whole bunch of tanks here um, it really amazes me how much dedication they put forth in here to bring in the tanks to bring in the stand to bag all these fish up and to throw them into the tanks here because really the reason why they do this is that the fish displays the best coloration while in a tank and not in a bag so it's also another marketing thing and it's also better for the fish in my opinion that they're inside of a tank than being stuck in a bag because can you imagine one of those things just ramming into the bag and <laughs> like the guard and just poking the bag i don't know it's just my it's just my strain of thought you know <laughs> and uh yeah they have very good quality fishes here some awesome arowanas here and on um, the higher tank up here they also have some lucenate arowanas um sometimes they are marketed as uh, albino arowanas what can we get you uh just browsing looking around we need gangs that are just buying not browsing <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> we got some nice discus though yeah you guys do but yeah that was the funniest guy i've over there i kind of wish i uh knew what his business was called it has great character <laughs> um in here we have some more uh, manicaparu i was so close to buying it but because i bought that red shoulder angelfish i decided to pass up on it they got some nice electric blue um jack damsies here i've also bred jack damsies before in the past and uh yeah i was just going around looking around like it's just crazy how like what people have here something that they really intrigued me here was the black uh coriadoras and i've never seen that before and uh i think it's also quite rare in the hobby as well i love how this vendor does things like this vendor will have like groups that is available and they don't sell it individually so i think that's kind of nice where they you know sell it as a breeding group or a breeding colony i don't see you're not carrying any big bags of fish you know like, <laughs> like santa claus like the bag over the shoulder i love the people here in their comments whenever i pass by it's just very very entertaining you know you never know what people's gonna say uh, this is also a nice nice uh, bulgarian green or Bulgarian seal point specifically and uh, I was so close to buying it too like for 10 bucks it's a it's a nice size fish but I had to think about the ones that I have at home as well and these are some nice fish you. you breathe them yourself yeah oh nice and I also had to think about the tank density if I were to buy this one would I really work with it into my breeding program so are these like uh, almost sexually matured those are they're, they're some adults yeah there, there are some adults in here okay i noticed one that has a very swollen abdomen like this one right here it might be a female it might be a female yeah and when i saw that i was like instantly out in my guts i'm like oh dude i gotta get it it's a female it's just so hard to come across females and I think in, uh, in the angelfish world, females are very important because for the most part, maybe it's just my luck, but I like the bigger fish and I select most of the time they're males and I would have very few females to work with. So yeah, so we're back with the tank again. Uh, in the beginning, we saw this tank. So that pretty much wraps everything up of what I saw here. Um, I'm just here for angelfish and for some Coriodoras. So, yeah, I, I got something. All right guys, so I'm back home. So uh, let's take a look at uh, what I got here from the fish swap. All right, it definitely was a fun filled day. My heat packs here is still warm. And uh, hopefully these guys are okay. I got my little cooler here. Angel is still alive, doing well. Here's the other guy. Oh no, he's still alive. I think the water's just cold. He's still hanging in there. All right, the Corys. Oh yeah, these guys are still doing well. Very well. This is how the red shoulder looks like right after I plopped it into the tank. A week later, I did see this fish eating some eggs. I don't know whether it's her eggs or somebody else's eggs, but definitely 
I think she laid the egg. I think that's a female fish right there. All right, so update on the Cory group. I did get myself a group of Coriodoras. These are the gold line. They're very cute. I really enjoy them. I got a great deal out of them. So they're really nice. They're just scattered all throughout. So in this tank, uh, it used to have a breeding pair in here, um, but I moved it out and made room. So I put the baby angel fishes in here. This is from the batch of the two silvers that are recessive for blue. Um, and I pretty much got rid of the babies that were non-blue. And I pretty much kept all the blue babies. And there's probably around 30 or so in there. I was able to capture the parents fertilizing the eggs and breeding and laying the eggs here. And uh, these are the parents of the babies that you just saw. So as you can see, the father right there in front of you guys has very nice straight finishes. The mother behind it, it has also very nice straight finishes. So um, like I said, you know, for breeding purposes, I would want to work more with the fins compared to the color and uh, other people they work around the opposite side where they will focus more on the color and the fins will become secondary for me it's the opposite way around so why i use why i focus on fins is because i know that they have the color combinations in them to produce blue angel fishes but you know if i focus on the color first i might have a hundred percent of these to be blue angel fishes but the fins won't be as good as these two. However, if I use these two, then I know that 25% of the batch will be blue with 100% of those 25% to have good finishes. So in the end, even though we have a few, I have very good quality. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thanks for tagging along with me to my uh, local fish swap meet here in Northbrook, Illinois. There is another one that's coming up this weekend if you are around the local area and admissions are free. So go ahead and check that out. This is the Northern Illinois Fish Swap on Sunday, January 29th, 2023 at 555 Eola. That's spelled E-O-L-A Road in Aurora and they are open from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. with free admissions and if you want to go there you got to get there early guys I'm not sure if there's any early pass I've never went to any of the free ones before but yeah if you missed out on this one already there's this upcoming one for you so <laughs> I'm pretty sure the same vendors are still gonna be there with the same type of fish so if you guys do like anything that you guys see here um, the high chances are they will be there at the swap meet. One thing that I have to mention is that if you are going to Illinois, there will be tolls for the highway. Um, because it is privately owned, there will be tolls and I suggest you in the future getting a transponder. Basically what that does is that it sends out signals and it automatically pays for your car as you drive by the poles. If you don't do that, then they will mail you your fee a couple weeks later and usually the fee is pretty hefty probably around four times the amount that you have used so me going to illinois for this swap meet probably cost around six seven dollars however if i wait it out a month and they send me a bill it's gonna be around 30 bucks so it's it is quite hefty um, just for fun i'd rather just go ahead and get the transponder that way you don't have to worry about paying any fees later or any upcharges. Alright guys, so you guys are probably wondering, what the heck am I watching? How did a fish swap me video turn into a grocery store tour video? This is H Mart in Niles, Illinois. And uh, usually me and my wife, we like to stop by here. And th they have here like seafood galore and it has like the freshest quality here. So if you guys are adventurous and you guys want to try out some very fresh seafood, this is the place to go. This is a Korean store and they also have a lot of Korean food here. Um, this is where we get the food for all of our hot pots and uh, Korean barbecue. It's a really good store to check out if you guys are in the area. So once again, thanks for 
for checking out my video all the way to the very end here. I truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one.